Hi pilots, I'm Grant Crook. Uh, this is an add-on to the video. Uh, the video is actually finished that you're going to watch in a minute, but I've just watched it back before uploading it and I thought I have to add some on to this. Right. When I filmed it, I didn't have this camera with me, I forgot it, so I just used my little Mobius and the position of the sun was a mess. Right, and it's quite a dark picture. I've tried editing it a bit, brightening it up a bit, but it's not brilliant. Right, of me talking in a car, you see, there's not a lot of that, right? So don't panic. And also, there's some DVR footage in the video you're about to watch. And uh, well, as a lot of people will know, when you've got your goggles on your FPV goggles, the image is a lot better than what the DVR image is from when you record it on DVR. Okay, so what you see on the DVR, it's a little bit better in the goggles. So I don't want you to think, oh, well, that's not a great DVR. All right. Okay, so that's all it was. So just thought I'd mention that before you watch the video. Okay then, uh, let's get to the normal video now. Cheers and thank you. Oh, pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel. Oh, just get comfy. Uh, I got some new FPV antennas the other day from uh, Relic, if that's how you pronounce it. They come in a nice little box with a bit of padding inside the box to protect them, but that's just a box. Right. And here's the antennas. They're only little stubby ones. Uh, I think they're about 50 or 60 mil. Uh, I'm not going to do a close up on the table. I'll put some pictures up while I'm gabbing just so you can get a, a closer look at them. Uh, but as you can see, they're just a little stubby antenna. I got mine with the SMA connector on the end or the SMA mail. Uh, but uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to uh, take them to the field and do a little test to see what they're like. Because, apparently, you can mix and match them. For instance, if you've got a Pagoda antenna on your quad, right, you can have these on your goggles or vice versa. Right? And they work both ways, or if you're using a clover leaf on your quad, you can have these on your goggles or a clover leaf on your goggles. Uh, you know what I mean. Right? So... I'm going to take it to the field and give them a test. Alright, so anyway, as I said, oh, I'll tell you one thing, they're very strong. They're, they're, they've got a real strong casing round, so they, they shouldn't break. I don't know how strong the connectors are because, uh, as you know, you'd have to have a crash to find out. And you never know, I might do it in the video, <laughs> and then we'll know. You've all seen me fly, I'll probably crash in the video, and then you'll find out how strong they are. If they snap off, I'll bloody well tell you. Well, I got these from banggood.com, right? They're a great price, hopefully there's a uh, picture up now. Right, I'll leave a link in the description of to links where to get them from. I've just told you, bang good, but I'll leave a link in the description so you can click and go straight to them. And yeah, the, the, they seem great. And when I say that is because they're very strong and that's what you need nowadays, especially as more and more pilots, right, are sort of like flying over concrete and buildings and stuff and ab bandos, abandoned buildings and stuff like that. You need something that's going to last when you crash. Right, the last time I saw something as strong as this, right, was the uh, Team Black Sheep antennas, which are bloody good. Right, but uh, this is a little stubby one, and I wanted to see if they're any good. Like I say, we've been able to mix and match them. These are right, and this is something I do like. These are right-handed circular polarised, but you can get left-handed circular polarised. But if you've got a load in your box, so you don't get them mixed up, not don't know why you'd have pairs or whatever, but the right-handed circular polarised are black, and the left-handed circular polarised ones are red. So you can never get them mixed up. Right? Because, uh, I can't remember his name, I apologise, right? but somebody had left a comment about some other video I did on antennas, and he'd said he'd gone to the bloody field, and he took... A right-handed circular and a left-handed circular, and anyone who flies knows <laughs> not a good idea, right? But uh, these things happen, 
right? But if you've got your left-handed which are red and your right-handed which are black, it's never going to happen to you. But anyway, that's enough of that. All right, like I say, they're just tiny, tiny little FPV antennas. And as I said, by uh, Rel Relic, if that's how you pronounce it, from banggood.com. Uh, obviously 5.8 gigahertz. Uh, so let's uh, get to the field, test them out and see how they do. Cheers. Right then pilot, sorry if the video quality isn't brilliant uh, looking at me there again. Why would you want great video quality looking at me? No, I'm just using uh, my little Mobius camera to record this. But yeah, what I'm going to do is, as I said, first flight, and I'm going to keep them short because I don't want this video to go on for hours, right? And I'm going to do it from inside the car because on a previous video, I did a test from inside a car and the Pagoda antennas worked pretty good. I was quite impressed. So I thought, uh, with these relics, if that's how you pronounce it, uh, I'm going to do a test from sat inside the car. I'm going to start off, I've got one on my uh, goggles and one on the quad. Do a little flight, see how it goes. All right, then I'm going to put a normal uh, Pagoda antenna onto the quad. Do another little flight and then uh, put one on the goggles and swap them round. I'll tell you as we go. But anyhow, let's get to the first flight then. All right, I'm putting up a DVR right in the corner. But as you know, DVR images are as good as what you actually see so i'll do a bit of a sound overlay or sum up all right with well, me talking sorry okay then uh, cheers let's get to the first flight uh relic on the goggles and uh relic on the quad cheers pilots that was test number one with a relic on the quad and on the goggles and uh, it, it was pretty good actually I was well impressed all right I didn't get hardly any breakup it would basically from inside the kite worked just as well as the pagoda antennas did when I did a car test but now there's the big test I put a pagoda on the quad leaving the relic on the goggles because they're meant to be able to uh, tune into pagodas or uh, cloverleafs so we will see still inside the car and uh, I'll do another test right uh, second flight cheers
little pallets considering uh, different antennas on okay they were still uh, right handed circular polarized but uh, the pagoda on the quad and uh, a relic on the goggles and that worked really bloody good actually it was just as good as having the matching antennas on so I was well impressed with that and one last test I've put relic back on the quad and a pagoda on my goggles now so that's all three or four I'm losing my own way here all the different combinations right and I've got a feeling it's gonna work great right because the last uh, few times are gonna work great and as you saw at the beginning uh, right in the uh, description of these things they they're a good price good price good bang good good price and uh, I'm well impressed with them I don't know they'll uh, last in a big crash because uh, I haven't had one and I don't want one I'm not gonna bloody crash just to test them <coughs> sorry got so excited then but now I probably just jinxed myself and I will crash but anyway last test and uh, we'll see how this goes but I'm pretty sure this one will be fine as well this time uh, relic on the quad to go to on the goggles and I've got a good feeling okay then cheers There you go then pilots, uh, that was pretty good as well. So we've had, had it all different ways around, I'm not going to go through it, I'll confuse myself. But we've had the pagoda on the goggles and the relic on the quad and vice versa and then two relics and uh, all over the place. But yeah, so you can mix and match them up which is pretty handy because if you're flying with your pagodas and somewhat breaks, you, it doesn't matter if you mix and match. I meant to bring a couple of old cloverleaf antennas out with me, I don't use them anymore. Right, just to test the clover leaf as well. Unfortunately, I forgot. So that's a test you can do yourself. Well, then, pilots, I uh, hope you found that interesting. And uh, well, the antennas are pretty damn good. So I'll be uh, getting some more. But I'm not going to rush out and buy them because I'm getting full up with antennas now. But they're a good price, as you saw at the beginning. So you can't knock them. Like I say, I don't know what the strength quality is in a crash. They are very strong and well made and everything, but I don't know how they're going to hold up in a crash. But that's just some up. Uh, one day we will find out and I'll let you know. Hopefully not for a long time yet. Okay then pilots, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you found it interested. Interested? Interesting. <laughs> okay then, cheers, thanks, bye.